guys, so today I'm going to be doing an updated bookshelf tour. I did one back um, in January as my very first video. So it's been like seven months. This is like my most requested video ever. I get so many requests all the time. So I think I'm gonna maybe make it into two parts. I don't really know. Maybe even three parts. Maybe I'll, I don't know. Maybe I'll show you one bookshelf and then one bookshelf the other day. Um, I don't know, but let's get started and I'm just gonna go through my books and show you what I have and let's begin. Okay, so this is my first bookshelf. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention that these are organized in alphabetical order, so by the author. So we have starting with the A's, obviously, and then I'm not sure how far we're going to get to today. But first we have Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, and this is obviously a very old book. Um, I have had this for a very long time. I'm pretty sure I got it at a garage sale. Uh, then I have Speak by Lori Hulse Anderson, and I have not read that one yet. Then I have Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, and then I have the big, big set. Uh, all seven, I have seven novels of Jane Austen's in one, and it is pretty massive. It's pretty intimidating. I don't know why I bought that. It's, I mean, it looks cool on my shelf, but it's just so big. Um, then I have Peter and the Star Catchers by Dave Barry and Ridley Pearson. Um, this is like a retelling of Peter Pan. I really enjoyed it. I have Peter and the Shadow Thieves as, as well. Um, I only read the first two because at the time that's all that was out. Um, I really want to continue someday. I know there's more now, but I just haven't read them yet. Um, and then I have He's Just Not That Into You. And I have two copies, actually. I got both of these for free. Um, and this is by Greg Berent and Liz Tucilio. I don't know how to say them. Um, but I haven't read these yet. I watched the movie. And I think the movie was pretty good. It's I don't know. It's been a long time. Uh, then I have The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. And I actually just recently read this, and it was a really good book. It was amazing. Oh my gosh, the ending was like just so heartbreaking. Um, and then we have the Bronte sisters. We have Jane Austen, or Jane Austen. <laughs> we have Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, and then Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. And I have read both of those. And then I have uh, the second, which when I got this, I thought it was the first. I uh, didn't notice the big two there. Um, Chestnut Hill. It's by Lauren Brooke, author of the Heartland series, which I had the first five over here. Um, I picked it up just for that reason because I like this series, but this is Making Strides, and I wanted to pick up the first someday and read that. Um, and I have one, two, three, four, and five of the Heartland series. The first one is called Coming Home. Um, it says Healing Horses, Healing Hearts. It's by Lauren Brooke, and there's a lot more than just five. I think there's like more than 20, actually. Um, I read this a while ago. They're so enjoyable. They're just really, like, they're short, and it's just, I really enjoy the characters, and it's about this girl and her family, and they live on this, like, ranch, and they just basically heal horses, and you get so invested in these characters, and this one over here is a, like, a special. It's a Heartland special edition, a holiday memory. Um, then we have the Princess Diary series. I only have four in hardcover, like in you know physical copy. Um, all the rest are in ebooks. Um, this is Princess Diaries, the first one, and then I've got Princess in the Spotlight, Princess in Love, and Princess in Pink. And if you notice the corner up there, that would be because of my mean cat, which one day this they used to be on the bottom shelf. And she decided to bite it, which I didn't even know cats would do that, but she's a jerk, I guess. Then I have Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Steve Carroll, and uh, this is a super odd edition. It's illustrated by Camille Rose Garcia, and I read this um, a little while ago. To be honest, it was very, very strange, and I think I like the movie better, which is kind of mean to say, but there is... Um, there's some really great like illustrations in here. They're pretty interesting to say the least. Then I have The Selection and The Elite by Kira Cass. And I just read these like just a couple days ago and they were super good. I really enjoyed them. If you're it's someone that like I mean they're just kind of girly it's like it's it has to do with princes and princesses and stuff. It's a dystopian book 
and it's you know it's in the future and it's kind of like when I first saw it I thought of The Bachelor but just made it into like a book and I was kind of hesitant to read it but it's much much more than that and you should definitely read it. Um, and then I have The Perks of Eat a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky and this one's really short. I really enjoyed this book. I really enjoyed the movie. The movie was really good. Then I have Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare and this is the first in the Infernal Devices trilogy and this is one of my favorite trilogies ever. It is so, so amazing. It's just, oh my goodness. I just, it's awesome. All right, here we are on my second shelf. Um, I've got Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Princess. This is book two and then book three in the Infernal Devices trilogy. These books are so amazing. Um, they are just, oh my gosh, the characters. I feel like these personally are better than the Mortal Instruments series. I just really like the setting a little bit better. I just really like the characters a little bit better. Um, this series kind of infuriates me at times. Like the characters are kind of annoying, but this trilogy never did that and I just love it. Um, next, we're still in the Cassandra Clare area. I have A City of Bones, which is the first in the Mortal Instruments series. And this is the movie like cover one. Um, I love this cover. I already had the original one, but I just really, really wanted this cover, so I got it. And then next, I have the normal cover of City of Bones, and I have City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and the last one will be out soon. Really good series. If you haven't checked them out, you should. The movie for this is coming out in just a month, which is awesome. Then I have Little Bee by Chris Cleave, and I haven't read this one yet. I picked this up. Um, it was really cheap in a bookstore, and the cover really, like, attracted me to it. It was very interesting looking to me. And then I next have the Hunger Games Trilogy by Susan Collins, and I got this for Christmas, this box set, and I'm so happy I did. I just love them in hardcover. I think they're so nice. But I want to reread this trilogy very soon. Um, the movie Catching Fire is coming out really soon. The trailer just got released, and, um... It just makes me more and more excited for it. But I want to review all of these three. And so that's probably going to be coming up between now and I'd say the end of November. Um, these reviews will be up. Uh, then I have the Match Trilogy by Ali Condi. And I actually have book reviews of all of these. Um, it's a dystopian trilogy. They're kind of different. They're kind of interesting. I've heard quite a few people that didn't like this trilogy, to be honest. I thought they were good. I thought they were enjoyable. Um, I, I liked it. I liked the love interest and stuff like that. But, um, then I have the Book of Lost Things by John Connolly. And I got this, um, just a random find. Didn't really know much about what it is. Um, it was just really a great price and the cover looked interesting. And I'm not sure when I'll get to this. I haven't read it yet, but it looks interesting. Uh, this I just called the School of Fear. I don't know much about it. I never really heard of it until I picked it up. Um, <laughs> I just do that sometimes, but uh, I don't know. It looks pretty good. It's like a children's book, I'm pretty sure. Uh, then I have House by Ted Decker and Frank Peretti. I don't know how to say his name. Um, this book scared me to death. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's a movie out now. Which I refuse to see, because if the book scared me that, that bad, there's no way I'll watch the movie. Um, I am so scared. I get so scared so easily. And it's just, it's awful. It's embarrassing. But I just can't handle it. I seriously had nightmares for probably about a month or two about this book. I'm not even kidding. I wish I was. Um, I actually took it off my shelf for a little while because I was just like freaked out. And it just really messed with my head. And I just, oh my gosh. Um... So then I had Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. I really wish that wasn't there, but, you know, I got it at a flea market and can't be too picky. Um, it was like 99 cents, but I haven't read this yet. I want to. Sometimes when I read other books, the character in the book will be talking about a book and then it will make me want to read it. I'm pretty sure, like, okay, in the, in the, in the Infernal Devices trilogy, like, Tessa Gray would be talking about these books and I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to read that book just because... I don't know, maybe I want to be like Tessa, I don't know, but that's just one of those books that I've always heard about and then just never read, so decided to pick it up. Um, now we're going to move down to level three. Okay, so next, um, this is my third shelf, and I've got um, the 
World of Hunger, the Hunger Games. Um, I found this, it was like some sort of Amazon deal. I didn't know what it was about and I just got it. And it's really, I was a little disappointed because it's mostly just a bunch of pictures um, from the movie. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, oh well. But I have it now, so cool. Um, next I have the Count of Monte Cristo by Alexandra Dumas, something like that. I really like this cover. Um, I haven't read this book yet. It is extraordinarily huge. I have watched the movie and I love the movie. Um, so that's pretty much why I bought the book. Someday I'd like to read it, but we will see. Um, next I have One for the Money by Janet Ivanovich. And I bought this. It was really cheap and I like that actress. But then I actually heard later that it actually is a pretty good series. So I might have looked out. Um, so I don't know. I heard some good things. Uh, next I had Bitter Greens by Kate Forsyth and I was actually sent this, um, I was sent this by the book depository, um, to read and review. And it was a historical fiction so I wasn't really sure. But I ended up, I re I ended up liking it. I thought it was really good. It was, um, you know, the fr it took me a little while to get into but then I really got like invested in the characters and cause it's like, takes place around like three different women. And, um, yeah. Uh, then I have The Diary of a Young Girl and Frank. I got this really recently. I read this in school. Um, then I have The Thief Lord by Cornelia Funk. And I think this is a children's book. I actually haven't read this one yet. But I've seen it before many times. And this I got a, at a used bookstore. And I just think it looks pretty neat. And I've, I've heard some good things. Um, so then I have The Caster Chronicles. And I've read Beautiful Creatures, which you can tell I got this. This was a gift, and then these I actually, like, got. So I, I someday would like to get the hardcover just so it'll match because it drives me nuts. Um, but I did read uh, Beautiful Creatures by Kami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. Uh, it was okay, you know. It was, it was good, but it wasn't, like... I don't know. I had some problems with it. I actually did a book review over it. I, I still am planning on continuing. And actually recently I thought of picking up the next one, Beautiful Darkness, but uh, I don't know, I just, they're good, but I kind of think they're a little too long and some things are kind of drug out and I kind of started to like lose interest. So I just need to get excited to read them again and then it should be okay. Um, and I have Beautiful Chaos, which I got as a gift, and then I got Beautiful Redemption. Uh, this next book I had to read for school. It was It's Still Alice by Lisa Genova. Um, I read this in my psychology class. It was an incredibly sad and it made me angry. I had to write like a report on it. This is not another one of those books that my cat got. This is The Lux by Anna Godberson. I read this a long time ago and I never picked up the other ones. Like here's the next one, Rumors. I want to someday. I just really, I never have. I want to though. Um, this is Never Let Me Go, and I cannot say that author's name. Um, I got this as a gift. It was, I, I got this during the genre swap from, uh, Susie from Read Susie Read. And I want to read this. Um, I heard it's a movie, and it's got Keira Knightley in it, and I love Keira Knightley. Um, next I have a couple John Green books. I have The Fault in Our Stars, and yes, my cat got this one. And, uh, I read this the first time, like, I think it was like... Back in December, I'm pretty sure, or maybe November, and I really loved it, but the ending was so sad that I usually don't like books like that, and it just made me so sad, and I ended up saying, I only gave it like three stars, but later I started thinking about it, and I was like, well, that's stupid. Why, why would I only give it three stars just because the ending? Like, I don't know how to explain it, but I just felt like it just didn't make sense because I loved it up until then. I want to reread it, is basically what I'm saying. Um, I love John Green. I love him and Hank and their YouTube channel, and I just want to give it another go. Um, I have Looking for Alaska. I haven't read this one yet. I've been meaning to pick it up for a while. It's not that long. Um, I just haven't yet. And then I've read Paper Towns by him. I just don't own that yet. Uh, this I have from my class, my mythology class, Greek Tragedies, Volume 1. Um, and I had that for class. I like mythology and stuff like that. I Maybe that's why I like the Percy Jackson series so much. 
Um, then I have Marley and Me by John Grogan. I haven't read this yet, but I watched the movie. And then I have two copies of Water for Elephants. This one was free, and this one I actually bought. And I love both of them so much. I love the spine of this one. Um, if you have not read that book, you definitely need to get on it. It is one of the best books ever. It was just fantastic. The movie was really good. It was so good. Um, this next book I had to read uh, in another class. It was The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime um, by Mark Haddon. And I read that in my psychology class as well. Um, then we have the Click series by Lisa, Lisa, Lisa Harrison, I think. And I only have four. Um, I read these quite a while ago. They're pretty good, but they're just, I don't know. They're like kind of, I don't know. They're okay. But um, yeah, they're kind of drama filled. And they're just kind of like these silly girl problems. And I never continued on. Okay, guys. Well, I am going to stop up there. I've already gone quite a bit longer than I thought I would be at this point. Um, so we're just going to leave it at this and then come back. Stay tuned for part two. So I will see you then. Bye.